searching for the good in our neighborhoods and each other. Not just finding what's wrong, but what's right. A true reflection of Cincinnati. Find the good in your mornings. Good morning, Tri-State. This is WCPO 9 News. Well, thank you for joining us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories right now. The Bengals Saturday joined other professional athletes speaking out about racial injustice. Team staff and players led by Trey Hopkins and Joe Burrow took a walk from Paul Brown Stadium over to the Freedom Center for an hour of presentations, followed by a tour of the museum. Bengals owner Mike Brown joined them as well. Players said these are the first steps to show the community and the country what they stand for. One of the big stories this summer has been the spike in violence in Cincinnati. Saturday, police were looking for gunmen in a pair of shootings that happened within a couple hours of each other. The first near section in Greenland in Roselawn, but police found the victim there in Springfield Township. Police say that man was shot twice in the leg and should be okay. The second shooting happened near McMicken and Elder in OTR around 6 p.m. That victim also expected to recover. The owners of the Ark Encounter in northern Kentucky have settled a lawsuit against their insurance company. That's according to court documents obtained by WCPO 9 News. The terms of that settlement have not been made public. Crosswater Canyon Inc. and the Ark Encounter sued last year after heavy rains caused a landslide and some structural support damage near the Ark. According to the suit, the insurance company refused to cover the costs uh, to repair that damage, citing faulty craftsmanship. Then agreed a small amount was covered by the policy. The Ark Encounter argued the company failed to meet its policy obligations. Really nice sunset Saturday night, Sherry. What was it? It's red at night. Sailor's Delight. Sunday's going to be <laughs> Sailor's nice. Sailor's Delight. That's right. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. You can tell that right now with these temperatures waking up in the morning. We're going to see 54 in Wilmington, 54 Connorsville, 59 Cincinnati, and some upper 50s in near 60 in northern Kentucky. And the air is going to be nice and dry as well. Uh, we saw a little rain on Sunday, not much, and we're not going to see any on, uh, on Sunday, I should say. We saw a little on Saturday, but not much. We won't see rain until maybe Monday morning. We'll start tracking the upper level low that could bring us some scattered showers. But we not say six and noon during the day and then leveling off during the afternoon. So let's look at your temperatures for the Sunday. We start at 60 at 8 a.m., 74 at noon, 78 degrees at 4 p.m. Real delightful weather. Most areas, most of our cities, communities will see those temperatures at least 10 to 12 degrees cooler for the day. So that's going to make for a nice Sunday before we bring in the chance of rain on Monday.